Observing body language. Observing the body language of others is as old as humankind itself. Body language is a dynamic expression that changes with time and is culturally influenced. However, predicting what others' actions and intentions may be and whether it poses a freight opportunity for us in a deeply ingrained habit Social psychologists have found that we naturally tend to form opinions and interpretations in the first seconds of observing another person for the first time. We are not even aware of this ability that we habitually practice. We find the minimal information at disposal. It is referred to as thin slicing, a term that has been coined in 1992 by Nalini Mbedi and Robert Rosenthal. So let's explore thin slicing. To be an effective communicator, especially with nonverbal cues and elements, a person has to understand the concept of thin slice methodology. People are able to form a judgment and accurate report of the stranger within the first five seconds of interaction without being aware of their interpretation or factors that influenced it. The accuracy of these macro traits includes liking, trust, competence, dominance, nervousness, warmth, likability, expressiveness, sympathy, and politeness. Although micro-expressions are not easy for people to articulate and explain in retrospect, we are intrinsically quite adept at automatically forming these perceptions. According to a nonverbal communication expert at Griffith University Law School, Jeff Thompson, knowing that these type of judgments are being made in the first place, both by you and by others, and often by often once the interaction begins, allows you to prepare and practice ahead of time for these interactions. It will not only enable you to shape your own impression to influence the other person's judgment, but also to be able to observe the impression that you've made with the other person by their nonverbal reaction. Therefore, knowing that these macro traits are observed and judged on the subconscious level and being aware of the difficulty of detailing and recording the micro traits or specific gestures, practice is important. Realizing the impact of thin slices, especially the first impression, is a critical step in being an effective communicator and realizing the importance of nonverbal cues and elements. Similarly, in the Monitor, a publication of the American Psychological Association, Leo Weinerman agreed that people often judge each other based on immediate intuitions, whether it is during an examination, a trial, jury trial, social meeting, speed dating, business presentation, or any other interaction between strangers. Although the concept may seem counterintuitive, studies found that strangers' first impressions of each other correlated significantly with the self ratings and independent observers' opinions for several personality traits such as extroversion and conscientiousness. Thin slicing suggests that people simply trust their gut instincts and go with the first impressions. But that is also true that first impressions can be very wrong as we tend to be distracted by the most visible and salient aspects of a person's personality. The simple fact is often utilized by those whose intention is to deceive, such as con people, spies and criminals. They are attentive to the impression that they make others and often go great lengths to create a front that communicate the desired message and image. Wynum in 2005 also alerts us to the fact that making and judging first impressions are two-way street. The judge, the judged, and the rapport, and similarly between the two, all affect the accuracy of a first impression. It is proven that people who are more similar in culture, background, and personality are better able to form accurate first impressions. An influential book was published in 2007 by Malcolm Gladwell, titled Blink, also explains thin slicing and the fact that we seem to be able to make accurate, spontaneous decisions based on very limited information. In fact, Gladwell's opinion is that sometimes having too much information can defeat the accuracy of our judgments of others. The book further argues that intuitive judgment is developed by experience, training, and knowledge, especially to eliminate prejudice that interfere with observations. 
But the first step is to be aware of the instinctive occurrence of thin slicing between people at an initial encounter before practicing to understand and shaping it.